Good afternoon, I'm Mike with Prepared for Emergency, and I'm Kevin. And today we're going to talk about this new product, it's called the Izumi Ceramic Rice Cooker. And today we've already set it up, so when you when you start with these things, you're you're supposed to rinse the rice three times, um, and we already did that yep. just to save yep. time. Yeah, we did that. Um, and then let it soak in water, or we use coconut milk um, just to add some flavor today. Coconut milk. And let that sit for 30 minutes. And now we're going to turn it on and let it cook for a few minutes to get it onto boil. Yep. We're going to turn it on high. Uh, we bring it out to a boil. Uh, we'll be able to see that through this camera here, but uh, we'll bring it to a boil and then we'll turn it down to simmer. We let that sit for about eight minutes. Uh, after that eight minutes, we turn the heat right off and we let it sit for another 12. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we'll uh, we'll come back and let you see how it turns out. So while this is cooking, uh, we'll let you guys in on some uh, some different ways that, or different options you have. Like this is a little portable, uh, portable stove top that you can take around with you. Uh, I happen to have this one. Uh, so we're going to try that out, but I mean, you got uh, you got lots of different options. We're going to do uh, another video later on where we will do uh, the uh, a rocket stove. The rocket stove. That we're going to use a candle inside it as one cooking means. Yeah. Um, another one we'll use as wood, yeah. and uh, we'll use a rocket stove like that. And then uh, you can, we're also going to try a camping stove. Yeah, camping stove uh, over top of a fire pit. Uh, we'll bring <coughs> bring all wild in to do some of that stuff. We'll build a tripod and sit it over top of a campfire. Uh, show you how to set all that up too, so you can cook it right over the top of the right over the top. All you really need is a heat source. So once you uh, once you got the heat source, depending on the situation that you're in, if you got to move, if you're stationary, if you got this all set up at a, a cabin out in the woods somewhere, yeah. So we'll show you how that works. So we'll be experimenting. Yes, and we'll get <laughs> footage. Yeah. Okay, so it's been well, it's been a little bit longer than eight minutes or so, but uh, it's all boiled up now. So we turn the heat down to minimum. Absolute minimum. So now we're supposed to let it sit for another eight minutes, and, and then we'll, we'll turn it off and let it sit for twelve. Yep. So we can see the other camera here. We got a little bit of a boil going on. So yeah, we'll let that sit for a bit, and then we'll uh, get back to you as soon as we're ready to go. All right, uh, we're all done. We've let it uh, cook for the last twelve minutes, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna open it and try it out. Boon for you. Oh, it looks good. Come on, nice and fluffy. There's no liquid left in there. Oh, yeah. water. Or, that, that, not thoroughly cooked? No. Nope, definitely needs to cook longer. <laughs> Is the liquid still in there? Yep. So, we've got to adjust the cook time on it. Because we followed the instructions and it's a little crunchy, <laughs> but it tastes good. So cool. We're gonna let this cook up a little bit more. We're gonna throw some more uh, more water in it, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and try it again when it's uh, fully cooked. All right, we made it a little bit later in the afternoon. You can probably tell by the sunlight, but we had to let this cook a little bit more. Uh, what we're finding recipe-wise is that uh, the coconut milk is probably a little bit thick, so you want to use the well, find that perfect balance—a little less coconut milk and more water—and uh, then you can actually follow the instructions a little bit better. But what did we find out so far? Uh, just the rice isn't all the way cooked, but it's close. Yeah, we're also learning that the wind is preventing it from heating up. Yeah, so we try different, different different cooking methods here. What we found with this one, this type of a stove, it's more of a you know, like a in the camp stove, plug into your uh, plug in your generator type of thing. So we found with that like we had to put a block of wood up in here just to block some of the wind, and we found we didn't quite uh, the pot didn't absorb as much. So we'll definitely do some uh, some different different cooking methods here. We'll open fire, uh, the the uh, rocket stove idea is going to be a good one. That will go for but this, this type of food system is definitely an indoor kind of project. Yeah. But we'll keep you posted. It was our first time, so yeah, yeah. be patient. First time, first time using this one. So we'll definitely do some more. This is going to be part one. Uh, we'll do up some uh, some more parts and uh, show you different ways to do this. But we're quite confident that things going to work for us. So. Yeah. Thank you.
You betcha. Head over to our website, prepperemergency.com. Uh, give us a share and like our YouTube channels. Uh, we'll have some information on the website for you guys. So there's, a, there's a library of PDF files and everything. We're always adding to that one. So, uh, yeah, tons of free information. Download, live and learn. Catch you guys next time. See ya.